You may think I'm all dressed up, but in reality, I have soccer shorts on. But I can't keep my hands to myself. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So what I'm going to be doing today is a Valentine's Day look since Valentine's Day is around the corner. I'm going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette and a Stila palette, which I'm not sure the name of, so I'll just put it down below. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing I did is as an eyeshadow base, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. And then I go ahead with the Beauty Blender and I start blending that all out onto my eyelid. Then I proceed to take an e.l.f. flat eyeshadow brush and some translucent powder. It's the RCMA translucent powder. And I set my base. Basically what this does, it just makes it a lot easier for eyeshadows to blend on top of your lid. So the first thing I do is I take Golden Ochre and Burnt Orange from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I begin to build that into my crease. I do drag it into the inner corner but I want to keep the concentration on the outer crease. You also want to make sure to blend this all out because you don't want any harsh lines especially if you're going to be adding darker colors and it's just going to be hard to go back and blend it all. So once that's all blended and you're satisfied with how it looks, we're going to take a small tapered brush and I'm going to use the color Venetian Red from the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to build it into the outer corner. Make sure to take a little bit at a time because the color is really pigmented and you could always build it up but if you add too much you can't really go back. So after you add a little bit, blend it out into the outer V and then continue to add more until you're satisfied. As you can see, I just continued to build up that color in the outer V and then I just brought it up a little bit into my crease, but mostly just keep it on the outside. Then blend that all out with a clean blending brush. Next, I just take a little bit of Love Letter from the same palette and I put it a little bit closer into the center of my lid and I blend it all out towards the center with the rest of the colors. After that, I take the one color from the Stila palette. It doesn't have a name, but it's the pink sparkly one. And I just want to concentrate that into the center of my lid and kind of blend it out with Love Letter that's on the outer corner. So what I do to make shimmer eyeshadows pop more is I spray MAC Fix Plus on the brush when the product is already on there. And when I put it on my lid, it just looks a lot more foiled and a lot more pigmented. Like I said, just proceed to blend those all together because you don't want eyeshadow that looks choppy and unblended because someone will call you out on that. Then I go back to the Modern Renaissance palette and I take Vermeer and focus that on the inner corner because later when I go and do my inner corner highlight, it'll blend together. But for now, I just go in with the clean blending brush and make sure all those colors are blended out together so we don't have any harsh lines. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to do a black wing liner and I take the Kat Von D tattoo liner and I begin to sketch out the line I want to make and then I just fill it in. Um, I usually don't fill it in with the tattoo liner because I don't really like how it like sets so I use the NYC liquid liner. I kind of skipped it but I just popped on Ardell Wispies. For foundation, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid SPF 15 and I'm the shade NC35 and again with the beauty blender I'm just going to go ahead and blend it all out make sure I get to my ears, my hairline, and my neck. The first concealer I'm going to be using is again the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 20 and put it on my under eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. Once again, no surprise here, I'm going to blend it out with my Beauty Blender. But I do also take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer next and I put a little bit on my under eyes just to brighten it up a bit and then blend it out with my Beauty Blender again. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and bake. So I'm taking the RCMA translucent powder and I am putting it on my under eyes and taking it up to my temples because it'll look like it lifts up my face. I'm also putting it on the bridge of my nose and on the sides of my nose because I'm about to contour my nose and then on my chin and on my forehead. And I'm just going to let this sit for about 10 minutes. Is that see the bill? The Hanka. You're fucking crazy. Now with the powder brush, I'm going to go ahead and take this off, but use the excess powder to set the rest of my face, which wasn't already like being baked. So if I do have any more excess powder, then I'll just swipe it off. Now for bronzer, I'm using the Pro Contour Palette and I'm going to use the middle shade, which is the lightest shade. And I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face. I'm going to do the cheekbones and then I'm going to go into my forehead because I do have a big forehead and I want to make it appear smaller. So I'm going to do that and whatever I have left on the brush, I'm going to put on my chin. Now for contour, I'm going to take a dense Real Techniques brush and I'm going to focus that on the part of my cheek that's closer to my ear and I'm going to put it on my temples and then with the lighter shade in the Pro Contour palette, I'm going to contour my nose. Now going back to the eyes, I'm going to take Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance palette again and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line but I'm not going to go all the way into my inner corner because it's going to make my eyes appear smaller so I'm just going to keep it on the outer corner and then again I'm going to go in with the shade Venetian Red on the very outer corner and then now for the highlights I'm going to use MAC Soft and Gentle and as you can see I just sprayed my brush before I applied. I used the Sonia Kashuk fan brush to apply it and now I'm just using a Real Techniques big blending brush and I'm just going to make sure it doesn't look all choppy and such. So I just put it on my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, chin, the same places where I would highlight with concealer. And now I'm taking the same highlight and with my finger I'm applying it on my brow bone. For my inner corner highlight, like I said before, I'm going to blend it in with the same color I used on the inner corner of my lid. So it just blends in together. And I'm using the same brush I used to apply the lid color and just on the inner corner. I also popped on some mascara. I forgot which one I used. I'm too lazy to get up and check. But yeah, you can use any mascara. And finally, I used the Kylie Love Bite Lip Liner. And I just lined my lips and I filled them in. And I used Teeny Tiny from ColourPop on top of that. Yeah, that's basically it. And stay tuned to see how the final product looks.